Merry Meet, everyone. Happy Moon's Day. This is the Moon's Day Energy Reading. And I am Serona Rose. Thank you for watching and listening. We're just going to pick us um, a card from the Moonology deck. Just to, let us figure out what's going on this week with energy. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's concentrating. There we go. And we got that one. We're going to put that there. And we're going to do a um, Divine Feminine card. And we'll do the dice to do the... Ooh, we got two cards. I'm going to... Oh, we got two cards here. Two cards... Okay, so I'm going to keep those. So number two, guys, number two. Two is about what? Two is about unity and um, you know, partnerships coming together. Not really unity per se, as in we are all one, but it's about coming together in harmony and um, that sort of thing. And I'm just going to get our dice out here. And I just threw them out there, so... What number will be prevalent for this week? Number 10, endings, okay? What planet, what sign will be prominent this week? What sign? And we have Sagittarius, 10 and Sagittarius. Okay, so let's put these over here and let's open these cards up and see what we have. Work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. Guys, I'm telling you, um, this is definitely coming up in, in astrology, this energy, oh my goodness, because our South node is in Scorpio and that is telling us those things that we have to leave behind in order to go forward. So this is very important here. Let's see. Surrender to the divine full moon. Okay. So this is 10 combination. All right, we're getting somewhere. Hang on, let's take these. One, we have Mary Magdalene, the Apostle of the Apostles. I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. Mm, okay. And next we have my um, Bago. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, May, my, or Maya. Mia um, says, I'm a warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. Okay. So let me get this together. Get these down here. And let's talk about this. This is some heavy energy going on, meaning that we are at a place in time where it's time to get serious. It's time to get serious about our walk. It's time to get serious about our talk. Um, we have, this is an ending. This is, these two are endings. So here, this is about working through your fears and we have Sagittarius, which is right after Scorpio. And that is about, here, I'll pull that up. That was a glare on there. You can't see that. There you go. And Sagittarius is about, is about a truth seeker. So that Sagittarius is going to search for the truth. They're freedom lovers. They're, they are the, um, uh, they can be very philosophical as well. Um, they're all about, they have a wonderful energy. They just, they're a fire sign. So they have that action oriented energy now. And when we have the full moon about the surrender and the new moon working through your fears, hmm. Scorpio represents, um, the underworld. Scorpio is all about transformation it is, um, it represents the death card 
in the tarot and that is about that transformation it's 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 going from one state of being to another and when we're in the new moon it is a time that we go inward it is a a dark time it's an ending it's an it's a um as we have this this full moon is that culmination of everything the new moon is the beginning so we have an ending and a beginning at the same time and this is um saying to us that this is going to come the energy this week is um things may trigger you things may come up things that you may be seeking and trying to find out may be coming up that is going to trigger you into uh, feeling fears, okay? I want to urge y'all to listen to the astrology show uh, Wednesday night on the 1st because it's really in line with this reading. That's all I'm going to say about it. You have to wait till then. We do have a new moon coming up, but the new moon coming up is in Virgo. So this is in Scorpio, which is about uh, trans like a transformation. It's it's you know moving from one state of of being into a next. So we here we have surrender. So we know that we have come to an ending. We have come full cycle, and now we are understanding why we are here because we know it's our past choices. And here, it's through our fears, it's through facing those fears that we will be able to surrender to the divine, to let go. And, you know, um, there is a myth about, um, I think her name is um, Sigma. Um, she's an Inuit goddess, per se, but her father in a storm, her father, it, this is jumbled, but her father threw her out the boat and, um, she was holding on to the boat and he cut her fingers off. And as her fingers fell, um, you know, and she fell to the bottom, she became, um, like dolphins and things like that. Uh, I'll be doing a story about that. We'll talk about that later, but for here and for now, it is saying that don't wait until someone chops off your fingers in order to let go. You can't control everything. Mary Magdalene tells you that she's the bridge th through the heaven and earth, and I am fully human and fully divine. And what this is meaning is, you know, we are here on earth, and the moment that we step barefoot on that earth or we touch the earth, healing just automatically turns on with our body. We are the earth feeds us, it heals us, it gives us energy, just as the sun gives us energy as well. And we are that bridge between the inner and the outer. We are that bridge. We are that conduit of energy. And it's not going to change until we realize and get past all of the misinformation that has been given to us. We have the warrior saint here. This is, I am the warrior of love. My devotion attracts resources and support. And this is saying here, see her sword is up. No more. And in the tarot, um, the swords represent air. And that is one of the sharpest decks. That's, uh, the um, suits is, the uh, swords suit is, it's very, um, it, it, there's a lot of turmoil there. And what I mean by that is, you know, the sword has, it's double-edged. It can sever and it can kill. Um, so there's all these different things that, that, that represents within this card. All of that, the warrior of love. Mm. We're being asked to drop into our hearts and to be very, very careful about what is going on, what is triggering us, what is um, 
what is tapping into that innermost fear? What's going on? Because I'm going to tell you guys right now, um, our lower chakras have really been attacked. Our, our root chakra is getting attacked through the foundations crumbling. Our sacral chakra is attacked through different pornography and different things, different um, modalities that are out there that, uh, that you know, um, block that and mess that energy up. And then we have our third chakra, which is our solar plexus. This is about the sovereignty. This is about, um, you know, power within yourself. All of these, all of these have been attacked severely. And that is very draining and it's very unnerving to the body because we're separated. It causes a separation. And here we're saying that, um, I will say there's a quarter moon right there. So this energy is going to go away. And um, we have to just keep going on and keep pushing through and and go into our heart with these things. And I hate to say that because it sounds so fluffy and all that, but there is a lot of things that are going on that is trying to keep us... Um, Oh, I just hit that and it I bumped it and it went to Taurus, which, okay. Um, Taurus is earth, ground, ground, ground. This is a good time to, you're going to have to really be strong. You're going to have to understand that you, you, and the energy that you carry is so important. It's so important. Um, surrender to the divine. This is the message of Pisces. This is, um, Pisces says, let go and let God. Um, and it's saying that there are things that are hidden right now that will come to light. Okay. And this can be very shocking. It can be, um, it can have you, uh, go into, Places that you may not want to go and into those fears. But remember who you are. Remember who you are. Ground and um, continue to be the truth seeker. Okay? This is the end of an energy. But change is happening. We may not can see what's on the other side of that. But it's okay. We've got more important details to take care of, which is our body. We need to take care of our vessel. And we need to make sure that what is coming um, into our energy is correct and pure. That purple and gold there, that is royal colors. So, yeah. This is a really, I could get really into this um, energy as, I mean, this reading as the energy here is very, very strong. I just will say, please watch the Astro Terror Show on FringeTV.online Wednesday night, and then you will understand more and more what this reading means, because this is all playing in uh, with each other. This is energy, guys, and this is how energy interacts. Um, it, it moves, right? It'll express itself. And when the energy is there, it will make itself known for sure. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. Remember, eat good, healthy foods. Uh, make sure you are getting time to meditate and be with yourself. Exercise your body. Uh, take care of this beautiful vessel that you were blessed with. And um, it's all about that connection. Have a wonderful day and merry part till we merry meet again.